I feel sorry for our midday joy listeners for the next uh, 40 or 50 minutes. <laughs> We're talking things. She's like, I should have brought my headphones. And I'm like, no, can you be a guest for once? I nail him, daughter. Can you be a guest for once? You just never know. <laughs> like, you know, with COVID, anywhere you go, even if you drink voiceovers, they're like, wear your headphones. We don't share headphones anymore after COVID. How much so, has changed? I know. Do you know what I was saying the other day? That COVID is basically like 9-11. Mm-hmm. Because we forgot what 9-11 did. Yes, the fact that this whole Afghanistan thing happened just a month ago is because of 9-11, guys. Of course. You know, the way we travel. Yes. It's because of, you know, traveling never used to be the strict way you take off socks and shoes. And we belts. forget. Yeah, we forget how much 9-11 changes. And I think COVID as well. I think in 10, 20 years, we're going to forget how it changed so much of what we do. Good afternoon, young lady. Hello. Welcome to Midday Joy. I am so excited <laughs> to be here. I call her mama Kail Alake. But it's Anna Lim Dada to you. Mm-hmm. That was Oshun Day with Pride, Snoop Dogg with Doggy Dog World, and Justin Bieber Peaches, alongside Daniel Caesar and, of course, Giveon. I love that song. Isn't it? <gasps> Isn't it obsessive? It, it just makes me feel like I'm sexy. Me too. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Peaches? Right. Green stuff? And I'm just like, hello. It is me that hello. is sexy. Well done on Miss South Africa. You've oh. just come back from hosting Miss South Africa. And I speak of you as not just a host. You're on the board. Mm. You are invested spiritually, your yeah. soul. Yeah. You've been a fan. And when you see someone who has been a fan being part of the the, 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 the body and the tribe, mm. definite shifts there. Yeah. I mean, three international titles since you've joined? Yes. Uh, Rolene won Miss World. Mm-hmm. Uh, Demi then won Miss Universe. I chose Demi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then right after Demi Zosi took it. Um, and and hopefully Shudu's going to take it too. Oh, that girl's got a strong chance. Babe. I love Shudu. She's in there like swimwear. Is it, isn't she? Yeah. Like in there. She's totally With in the there. With the sand. Dude, she is totally in there. And I think mentally the strongest Miss South Africa I've, I've ever had to work with. Her education alone. Yeah. Her educational yeah. background and her interests in mental health. Mm. That's what separates Shudu from the rest. Very business minded as well. I mean, wouldn't you if you were multi-qualified? She's, you know, the, the conversations that I have with all the ladies. Cause Published she, author already. Do you know how many books she sold? You know, she's a bestseller right now. I think so. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Everybody a, calm down. A book on bullying and... Just both international pageants, actually all three of them from Supernatural to Miss World and Miss Universe. Yeah. You know, they got to, you know, uh, hang out with her a bit and they read her book and all of them were just like, wow. They're in awe. Yeah. On the Miss SA theme, before we move on to other things, because it was just a wonderful weekend for a lot of things. Yeah. Transgender women yeah. on the back of Chappelle and the Closer. Mm. And just the wonderful inclusivity mm. that was expressed in everything that was Miss South Africa. How did you guys manage that? It was so beautiful to watch and then also see mm. friends just WhatsApping you. And did you see this? And they mentioned this. Yeah. The community feels so seen. Yeah. Do you know what it is? We didn't have to manage that. The people who are entering Miss South Africa are smarter than us. I've got let's, let's just start there. Those ladies, guys, they are smarter than us. Yeah. They are more inclusive than us. Yeah. They are more worldly than us. Yeah. And they are more hungry for change than us. We yeah. are just facilitators. Yeah. And I always say to Stephanie, who's the, you know, she owns the pageant, I say, just leave them be. Yeah. Leave them be. Trust me. Don't don't want to control any narratives. Don't want to be political with them. They're, they they what Whatever pol- politics they have, they will highlight when it is their time. And I feel this pageant, because I don't know if you saw it in Not TV. just this pageant then. When you say that then, mm. then I can literally trace back to, yeah, mm. there was a certain point in time where it was less manufactured, yes. less pretty, mm-hmm. less groomed, mm. and we started hearing things mm. and seeing things and living things. And I... I just say let them be and each person must come with their cause we can't tell them what the cause is sure because what used to happen is we'd look at the zygast and be like okay what's going wrong with the world right now yeah. guys this is our champion you know for this year now yeah. we're just like listen yeah come in with what you want to do to and each his own exactly this is your platform so when it comes to you know the you know the transgender debate i don't even know why it's a debate just conversation yeah you yeah. know it's not it's a conversation um we'll hear you out if you think that transgender women should not be entering but we're not going to go by that yes we'll hear you <laughs> and this is why dave Chappelle doesn't offend me we'll, we'll hear you dave yes it's a comedy after all yes we'll hear you yes but we're not going to go by you yes and also we're not going to seek permission from at anybody all. at all you know um i think it was zimi who said 
it, it fascinates her how people are so obsessed with how uh, what other people decide on their lives. I know. Just leave it and stop it. As a storyteller, how do you then give your 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 talent mm. the freedom to narrate in spite of you having a vision? Because that's it's a very thin mm. rope to walk to be a producer, to be a gatekeeper of content, but also to know what it's like to be in front of the camera. Mm. But now having, I guess, the power or less power behind the camera to say you go with your narrative i don't think about it too much you know really i i think the last time i strategized something is in getting the deal mm. in getting the show yeah in getting the radio show yes do you know what i'm saying <laughs> Got that, you. that's the last time i i, I am planned yes and, and pre pre you know yes prepositioned it's the last time on a timing yeah 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 timing yeah timing the mama cut on this clean chair isn't and then go for men there, i don't think about it too much okay and i i just let the story take itself where it's going and the one thing about being a good storyteller mm -hmm. is authenticity. Oh, so you know you're a good storyteller. I think you're a great storyteller. I love to tell stories. Yes, and you do it well. Yeah, I love it. Like, <laughs> the time to tell is like, hey. We are like, what? What? And then? And then, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love that. And um, you even hear me on my radio show is that sometimes, I mean, you're supposed to broadcast in English, but it's easy. No, it's boring. It's close. Kalo phone then says it code switch. So club come with his I go to his class. It pull me like I go. So I think if you don't think about it too much, especially on any platform, be it at the Voice, be yeah. it at the Buzz, be yeah. it a radio show, honey, yeah, and if you don't think about it too much, yeah, it it will come across as like you'll come across as you. Being the great storyteller that you are, mm. knowing the freedoms that you have and the confidence to navigate amongst them, having Celeste and Dulia as your best friend, <laughs> is that a thought? <laughs> as she sips some water, I'll keep on speaking as she swallows. Guys, Celeste is the funniest person I know. I know. Literally. I know. Literally. And it's so funny because I'm on Mac G's podcasting tonight. We're getting there. Don't worry. And in there, yes. a question is asked about Celeste. Yes. And I'm quite heightened about my reply that I really think that she's been hard done by the industry in the platform, on the stages that we haven't put her on. Yes. You know? Yes. Because why hasn't Celeste hosted the Summers? I don't want to answer that question, but we know why. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So I think I was drawn to her, yes, because of her talent, but I stayed because of her essence. Her essence is so beautiful yeah. and pure and caring. Yeah. Would you, though, ever consider a comedic way of storytelling, which is to officially yeah. do comedy? Because you're funny, Chomam. Yes. Like, we are Shagisa. But you have to respect comedy in terms of you have to give it all the time. So you have to be on stage as much as possible. You, and you can't just take the big stages where it's like, oh, 10,000 crowded emperors, there's Anele because she's Anele. You have to go to the kitcheners. You have to go to the little ones, the ones where there's 20 people, the ones where there's, there's five people, the ones where there's 100 people, because that's where you get your rhythm and that's where you, you hone your stories. You're right? so respectful of the art, you know? You have to be. So, not that I'm saying... <laughs> and then she gets into, like, no, drama. But you, have you have to, to be. be. <laughs> you, because, you know what? I, I don't respect people who don't respect radio, but they do radio. And then they complain that you and I have been doing radio yeah, for so long. I don't, I, I don't, because I'm just like, uh-uh, bro. You, uh -uh. you arrive whenever you want to arrive. I remember, I, I remember when you called me. I remember when you called me and you're like, Chamam, what does open up the industry mean? Tell it to me like you understand it because we are doing the work. Now we must give away the work. We're working. <laughs> like literally, we're working. And more than that, um, I don't have an issue with opening the industry, mm -hmm. right? Especially since there are people in it, like I'd say me and you, who when we, we do things that then... That, that do open up the industry. Like, yes. I produce a few shows. We do. We produce shows, That I'm yeah. not part of. Yes. I'm not part of them. I yes. don't care to be part of them yes. because I want other people to be... I could host all those shows if I wanted But to. we do not want but to. But you don't do that. Yes. Because... There, there are just some things when I look at something like ah, mm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I understand where shareholders and 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 investors are coming from, where they want someone recognizable, someone they can trust. They want a certified copy. Yes, because ultimately, guys, must remember, showbiz is still a business. It's the business of show. Yeah, it's still a business. So I and I definitely do back open up the industry, but not in the unnuanced way that people expect for it to happen mm. because in order for me to open up the industry I, I need to climb up that ladder 
quite high yeah so that i have the ear of mm. people of investors and shareholders so that i can create more things that then require for new talent to come in we're having the conversations in the boardrooms and not on twitter I, i'm on twitter as well I'm, I'm not you see me i'm not i'm good everywhere i'm good in the boardroom i'm good on twitter i'm no me i'm nope. every, i don't mind it i, I got really you. don't mind it I, no no i understand why you're not on twitter because it got acidic yes it got acidic. Yeah. You know, but... So I'll make the changes in the boardroom. Yeah. But, I'll but, be like, we will not have that gentleman there. Yeah. 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 I know for you, it got acidic. Yeah. Ah, guys, you know, I know how Twitter's a playground. You know, during, you know at school. Yeah. You know, you know at school. It's, it's that corner there you can avoid, but it's also nice to be in. No, no. It's the entire playground. Okay. In the playground, you've got the, the rich ones, yes. the clever ones. Yes. The dancers, the rappers. Yes. You've got the ballerina. You've got everyone, yeah. right? And you just move around the playground. Yeah. That was me in high school. I didn't have a click. Okay. I was part of everyone. I right? got you. And I, I even worked the tuck shop at times. Yeah. You know, you know you're, just, you're just everywhere. Yeah. But the beauty of the playground is that when the bell rings, the playground ends. Ka. <laughs> it's 2.30 on Kaya 959. Can we play a song and come back to Anele? I want to hear about you on Mac G tonight on Channel O. I want us to talk about honey. I want us I want us to talk about working moms. There's so much to cover. Anele, daughter. Mama ka I like. She's featured by Zap Mama on this one, Bandy Bandy. 24 minutes to go before the top of the hour. We only have 24 minutes with my queen. Mama ka I like it. <laughs> and I love Tata. So, mom, there's certain questions we can't avoid. Like, is there a boys' club in the industry, or mm-hmm. just in life in general? In the industry, is there a boys' club? Yes, there is. Um, there is, or there was. There is. Okay. No, there is. And for me, it's when people say to me, you know, you work in a male-dominated industry, mm-hmm. and I'm like, well, give me an industry that isn't male-dominated. Mm-hmm. Let's just start there. I think yeah. off the top of my head, I can only think of two industries that are not male-dominated: which are prostitution and nursing. <laughs> the rest have that, it. That's why Vivica Fox <laughs> asked to be your friend. She's like, yo. <laughs> I want to be your friend's friend. I'm like, yeah, she's everything. <laughs> because, and you know what? I, I think what I did right is not... I was going to ask you, how did pay, you survive? Is, is not pay attention to it. Uh-huh. It's not pay... From when I was a taxi fam. Because it was there already. There yeah. was an unwritten rule that a woman will never get drive or breakfast. Yes. So when they're speaking to you about your own plans, yeah. you know, it's like, so, you know, you can do brunch, you can do lunch, mm. you know, maybe evenings, mm. or maybe you can be a newsreader mm. or whatever. And I'll tell you how I successfully avoided the boys' club. How? Is over, over, I think I've done radio for 18 years now. I must have been offered a good three or four times to be someone's sidekick. Very big people. I still remember the conversation we had when you call me and I'm, Chamam, I'm leaving five. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm out of there. You're like, I'm out of there. You're like, I've reached my ceiling and they're not going to let me grow and I'm always going to be somebody's sidekick. And I was like, your mom. Exactly. But because that's how I believe I was treated over there. Of it, course. It was Grant and Anele, but there was just conversations that I wouldn't be privy to because, but luckily, Grant was your that, friend and wasn't that way inclined. And he loves you. And he would always include me in these in these situations where yeah. it's like, well, why isn't Anele here for discussing this? And they literally saw nothing wrong with mm-hmm. it, you know? But me turning down many opportunities to fast track my career yeah. so that I can be on a bigger platform next to a big person. And I turned those down and I really think that that works out for me because I was always like, no, it's fine. I'm not in a rush. I can just do this myself. Don't Cause worry. Because God, God is always on time, number one. Yeah. But also you grow, and it's something Minnie always speaks about and Mal when, whenever we're together and Zizou. Yeah. <laughs> and Ella cooks for us, by the way, guys. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> it's what they always speak about is also being raised by parents who affirm you unconditionally. Yeah. It's it's not ambiguous. Yeah. Yeah. What they believe in you and what they want you to achieve is never ambiguous. It was never you are good at this because you're a girl. No. It's, it's, it's full stop. You're good at this. This is why I try to avoid the question of, oh, you are a female amongst the boys. No, no I am I'm, a broadcaster amongst broadcasters. And I'm one of the best amongst them all. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, I, I don't compete with only the females. Yeah. I, I am up against everyone. Yeah. Everyone, let's go. Let's you, go. Everyone, let's go. Because it's, and it's so funny is that it doesn't really exist that much in the TV space, this whole boys club thing. No. Why is that? Because they're not great at TV. Mm. Can we talk about you though? Yes. This is Onati. You have my absolute favorite 
favorite personality ever in the world. Like, I never used to listen to E947 until I found out who Anela was there. And, well, <laughs> I literally just listened to her show. Okay, is, look, look, whatever she touches is gold. The Mazana, we are Sebenza, Kubeka, Ungayeki, Ungapek, and Vanga, Peke, Matalini, Peka, Pambi, baby girl, we love you. Ah, love you too. We do love you. And sometimes I'm coming to Thomas knows Kumba, guys, enough with this. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that guy who's chewing in my ear to stop chewing in my ear. <laughs> Hi, Midday Joy. Hi, Susunati. Uh, Kamalam Wumpo. Uh, yo, I've been listening to your show uh, for the past two weeks, I think, driving to work because uh, I start working with three. And I must say, I've been enjoying your show. I've never been someone on Mameli Kaya FM. It's always been my mother's uh, station. Wow. But every time she uses my car, Tola Fage Kaya FM, so I started listening. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying the show, especially your interview, No Anele. It was such an awesome and inspirational wow, thank you. Um, show um yeah keep up the awesome work you're an inspiration to many you know to get up and go and do and go get what's yours you know thank you so much for the awesome show your mom yes darling your glow is like on steroids <laughs> <laughs> what is it? is it is it is it the gym is it your happiness is it i like it is it a man is it i'm gonna ask you all the offensive <laughs> questions because it can never be you right <laughs> It can never be I'm you. Just like, why can't I just be glowing Jeff? No, no, for no. I want to ask you all the offensive questions. Who is it? It cannot be you. What it's, is it? Do you it know, cannot be you. I just think it's such a cliche about getting older, right? Yes. It's such a cliche. And I, people I, think back to when they when they when they throw your age at you. Thirty-seven and proud. Guys. Forty-three in two weeks like, and so loving it. And I I have never felt better about me, about other people, about yeah. life. It has never been easier for me to celebrate other people's successes, yeah. other people's joy. It has never Because you know who you are, yes, right? It has never been easier for me to help other people, yeah. you know, to put myself second at times so that somebody else can... It's just all organic at the moment. Yeah. And I think that's what I love. And another thing that I'm losing, and I'm so glad I am, is like the need to control things. Because uh, it, 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 it's it's a very big it, well, that I'll comes come, with healing. It KPIs is, yes. is a self person. Yes, I'm always just like, oh, can I just go to this place and not feel the need to control? You know that I am the most awkward person at events where I'm not working. People don't know this, <laughs> right? I am because so you have no function to fulfill. Exactly. Yes. So so uh, so I'll, that's that's why I'm, I don't go to them. I don't. I, I, I don't exactly. Yeah, no. So <laughs> even going to like a friend's fortieth or nope. a wedding nope. and. You're not needed to do MC something or to do a MC toast or play or play music or yep. whatever. I feel so out of place. So I am awkward at people's events. And what I love is that I can recognize now that I am getting better at that. Where I can just get there, sit down, take a drink, and just like, because I'm just like, what am I going to say to people? <laughs> <laughs> What's the conversation going to be? <laughs> what do they want to know? <laughs> You know, and for the longest time in my life, and even from when I was when I was thirteen, I went to my friend's mom's wedding, and I was like, "I'll play the music." No. You know, so it wasn't a case of I'm in the industry. It's just always been me. I just always feel the need to have a role yeah. in something, somewhere, somehow. You just want to make an impact in someone's life. And now it's good on the one side, yeah. but on the other side of just being a normal person. Mm -hmm. Who takes life as it is mm -hmm. and who enjoys it, mm -hmm. it's bad. So I've had to teach myself. But Anel, Uzai, Okla, baby, shall. And Uzai, And I remember. Also, I also you're not normal. <laughs> also. You're not. Uh, Anel, bye. <laughs> Thank you, sis. I mean, for bringing Anel. Listen. I love her. I love her work ethic. Wow. She is strong. She, you know, she inspires us to say, go get whatever it is that you want. There's enough for all of us. Where do you get that work ethic from? Because it's 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 crazy. I mean, we've been trying to get you on the show <laughs> since August last year. <laughs> My first woman's month on Kaya didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna let things slide. Then you December got busy. Then I was like, okay, the New Year, everything's busy. Then it was August, everything's busy. Then eventually I said, Anele, as I can figure out November, unge kabi ko esho winiam is a kauli friendship. How do you do it, Chamam? I think the work ethic 
and the beauty is that it comes from my mom and my dad. Yeah. And, and I love that. And it was different ways, right? So there was a point when my mom was working at the SABC, but then she was also working at the tuck shop at, at, our, at our school, mm-hmm. but then also doing public relations for Translux. Raising four girls. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then at the same time, I can distinctly remember walking into my dad's room at two in the morning. Mm. Maybe I'm coming home to tell him, like, I'm home. I was at a party. I'm mm. home. I'm safe. And he's sitting, working. Mm. You know, he's writing things down. He's mm. jotting things down. And this is even well into, inverted commas, retirement. Because mm-hmm. my dad has he retired. Can't. He but can't. he's still working. And he's just always working. I, I, I grew up around two working parents, but who are so incredibly present. Mm. You know, we had really good times. We, In fact, we're talking about it this morning. We are the party throwers in my household. Oh, <laughs> do you want me to tell people about your parties? Anele and black coffee. <laughs> I cancel work. I, I refine. I tell the office, uh, please pay back that client because when I get an invite from Anele or black coffee, you, you are the party throwers of the continent. It's a party, guys. It's a party. And I got that from my parents. My parents were always hosting parties. I am hospitable because of my parents. Like Uti uskumba. Uh, uh. Nothing but love and respect for Anela Inja. You came. How is this? Kumbalish. It's in it, Jennifer. Into your Hi, Jennifer. Hi, ladies. How are you? We're good, Jen. Jen, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Anela, uh, you make me so proud when you say you leave the young women to do what they specialize in. Skin. You know, when you how come onto platform mm. and then upload one. Uh, that, that's the end, you know? Mm. But Anala, I'm not proud of you, Michael. I'm proud of your parents. Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, mm. So I love mommy and daddy where they are. And thank you, ladies, for the show. Thank you so thank much, you for listening. Jane. And thank you for choosing us, Sister Jane. Aww. I continue. I like interviewing broadcasters because <laughs> they, they make just my life go. easy. They go. just go. <laughs> no, you know, Jennifer makes a good point. I can never stop thanking my parents yeah. enough. I mean, my mom passed in 2009, yet she is still a very big part of me. Yeah. You know, the lady who does my nails, Anesu, came to my house about two weeks ago and I didn't offer her anything to drink. Literally, halfway through it, I'm like, hi. Yeah. Because you remember that Umama Wako yes, would have been like, so embarrassed by your lack of... Yeah. 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 You know? So, uh, I, and the beauty of making peace with my mother's death was realizing that her lessons will be heightened. Yes. So, the, the body in itself has left, but the, the lessons and the, and the spirit of it is, and the relationship is never gone. Yeah. And then my dad is still around. You know, I always... What a G. Oh, I call him the wall. What a G. Do you know when you, you know that that term, my back's up against the wall. Yes, when, that means that indoors should be because. But now for me, when my back's up against the wall, you must know I turn around and I, and I see that my dad is the wall. Yes. and then I'm like, I get guys. Do you can do anything? Mm-hmm. Just a lot. You're speaking to Google it to my way. Need to be a team. Anele Viva. I just saw it on Facebook. I said, Wow, my diva, it's alive. So much talent. We love you, Anele. We love you. We love you. We love you. Keep on doing the good things, diva. Another colleague, oh, wow, this is beautiful, Mutlachai. Hi, Mutlachai. Ah. Hello, honey. Hello, Mama. So you're on Thingy tonight. Weren't you scared? Of Meg? I refuse. Aska. Aska. Dude, can I tell you he asked me everything? <laughs> like, that's that's what I don't want. No, dude. I've got so many things I don't want to be asked about. No, dude, you even asked me, so what do you like in bed? I don't uh, like, oh, it varies. I in a prescription land. I'm a manual. experience young king. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, just that connection at that moment in time. In general. But you know what I just want to ask? Please, can you guys not take what I say and make, and make it headlines? I've got parents. No, they're already going to make it headlines. Because I'm just like, do you know what it is? I what don't mind that you... What did you say? No, do you what know what you it say? is? When you watch the interview or you listen to the podcast in context, yes. it's a story. Go on in a Times Live. I've listened to the comment day one. He begs Bali. He's trying to be able to do it. That's the whole point. Stop it, guys. It's tiring. What time is it tonight? Half past nine on Channel O. It's like, sell it to you. Are you going to watch it live? Because you should be in bed by then. 
Babe, I sleep when I want. I know. No. That's what I love about you and Leanne Manners. Yeah, I know, babe. <laughs> In fact, Leanne was the one who gave me that advice. No, Sukoka. I gave you that advice after Leanne gave it to me. Oh, then therefore Leanne gave me the advice. Like, so and faggy. Can only faggy now, my nail and faggy. Am I cutting out the middle, man? Sukoka! You guys just said, please don't change your life. You because can't. Because ultimately, on radio, you need stories to tell. Yeah. And if you're going to go to bed at 7 p.m., you don't have stories to but tell. But also, you need to live the life that God has given exactly. you. Exactly. So I sleep when I want. I read until 11 sometimes. Sometimes I sleep at 8. Sometimes I sleep at 2. Sometimes I don't sleep. Sometimes I go straight from the party. <laughs> you know? Like, I, don't, I don't miss those days. <laughs> you? I don't. You and Mel. I don't. <laughs> you, you, Mel and Glenn. Nope. We'll be back. Sis Umsa and Anele, you ladies are killing it, man. Are killing it. We need to have a cool, 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 man. So you're on the As the need to die, you becomes like gold, man. I love you, ladies. Sis Umsa, thanks for the great show. Anele, please come to midday. Joy, I said, please. I ain't leaving. Should we tell them about our dream when we're 60? Yes, we, we, did we say 60 or 65? I think 65. We 65. said 65. We said at 65, you and I are going to broadcast from the beach, uh, a beach house. Yes, with our two yachts parked <laughs> side by side. You know, because, you know, after after the breakfast show that we're going to do together. Yes, at it's, 65. It's going to be talk. Yes. It's all talk. Yes. Because we're going to have a lot to say. And they'll hear the waves <laughs> crashing in the background. And we're going we're, we're gonna to have a lot to say. Isn't it? And then we're going to be raising children and yeah. they'll be in and out of the house and they'll be flying around the world. Yeah. And they'll know where to find us. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. I love the businesswoman in you. Like Thank there's you. apps. That your business partner was here last week. Oh, yes, for Fula. Tell us about Fula, please. Guys, Fula is the most amazing thing. It is basically fuel on demand. Yeah, wherever you are, it's much like calling any any e-hailing app to come and pick you up. Uh -huh. If you just need... E petrol. E petrol, babes. Mm -hmm. You could be... Do you know what I love about it? Yes, it's an emergency thing. I'm running out of petrol. I'm here. We'll come to you. But what I love about it is the convenience of you at a restaurant, you mm -hmm. at a mall, you at your child's school, you at work, you know, you're doing your groceries. And we just come up and... We, 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 you know I love convenience. Babe, convenience. <laughs> You've just spoken to me. You know I love convenience. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm an early adopter of that because I found out about it quite early in life. Yeah. And then I was just like, uh -uh, guys, to me, this makes sense, right? Yeah. Because I am that person who's constantly zero case to empty. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. And also, you, I, I'd like for it to expand to we come and wash your car, things like that, because my car is also always dirty. Because I never wash my car. This is what does Kumba swears at me for. Because you never have time. I never have time. Oh, be posh, babes. Why do you have to tell people <laughs> what I'm driving? Why you no, babe. Go? We know Just because you're driving one as well. <laughs> no, 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 no. We know why you are. Because, well... Look, we got a Tata and Taxi driver up off recently. Oh, my little driver doesn't know what... I just sent you a message. I'm like, babe, is it handled? Yes! <laughs> I was like, like, babe, is it handled? I was like, hey, which mom? You're like, yeah, yeah, most. And I was like, hey, that, okay. take it. As long as it's handled. No, it was handled, babe. Yeah, yeah, yes, now. As we look at two, uh-uh. 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 Before I let you go, I can't believe we're out of time, right? I know. It's a cliche for a reason. Okay. Okay. What brings you joy, Anelam Dot? Giving other people joy itself brings me joy you're because, you're a giver yeah and and you and, really are a giver and, i need to tell people that yeah and there was a time when i felt that ah it's too much then you like you, you try not to be yourself because it, you get burnt or you you get spoken about in, or people get jealous that yes. was a conversation we had a couple you know of weeks saying? ago yeah. and and i've reached a point where it doesn't offend me that I am a joy bringer because I really feel like that's my legacy. That's what I was meant to come and do in the world. It doesn't matter how it happens. Even if I was a school teacher, I would have brought joy to the students. Mm. Even if I was a nurse, I would have brought joy to the patients. Mm. Even if I was literally working a woolwedzy plastic there, mm. you know, as a, you know, as a as a teller, mm. I would have, I would have, as a, if I even I was an investment banker, I would have just been placed to bring joy. Yeah. So the essence of joy itself is what brings me joy, and watching people like laugh their heads off mm. sometimes i don't even know what they're laughing at but to just watch people laughing mm. to me makes me so happy you know i'm never like mm. you know what i mean like yeah. and for me it's 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 it's
the joy itself is the jo- is the joy that brings me joy. You are joy. Uh, I love you. Uh, and go as such a mom. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Thanks for threatening me. Because <laughs> you know you're as threatening me and said if you don't come here now. It was the same as Celebrity <laughs> Game Night. I was like, Chummy, can't invite us. We're still going to pull a friendship. <laughs> Yo, Pella, friendship. If I'm not on season two. Yo, Pella. <laughs> Friendship. That time, Minnie's like, oh my gosh, Celebrity Game Night is so much fun. <laughs> Minnie is the most competitive She's person disgusting. I know. I know. I love her. We're signing out in the theme of love, Empire State of Mind, the acoustic version. Oh, I love this Isn't one. Isn't it? Oh, Alicia I love it. Keys. I love you. Mm.